tired, but happy. I love the shade. What's up, guys? Good morning. It is June 22nd, 4.30 a.m. Um, I'm in Washington, Pasco. I think I used Pasco, Washington. I don't want to be too loud because I don't want to wake anyone up. But I'm about to go to the airport. <laughs> I'll fly to LA to fight in the USA Grappling World Team Trials. So, let's do it. Let's go. The journey continues. I just landed in Salt Lake. I tried to sleep on that flight, but the man next to me, bless him, turned the light on so bright. I'm like, sir, it is five in the morning. <laughs> it was hard, but I made it to Salt Lake and now I'm connecting and going straight to LA. So I've been like sleeping kind of, well, trying to sleep, but now it's time to get in comp mode. Get my, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll really get my energy up because it's like a two hour flight, but the nerves usually start to kick in for me um, at this time. So trying to keep it down since I'm not even in California yet. And then we'll get a little crazy later. We've made it. We're in Los Angeles. Chris is looking um, very American. Oh, I can't zoom like that. I was trying. But we are now going to go to the ghetto. I'm just kidding. We're going to, I think it is on Crenshaw, right? Yep. Crenshaw Boulevard, baby. Okay, we're gonna go over there. And I'm starting to get nervous now. So I need to go change and get in, get in the zony zone. We're here, the nerves are starting. I always forget how I feel when I compete until I get to the venue of places I'm competing at. And I feel like I'm gonna absolutely fucking throw up. <laughs> It's like two matches, it's not like a crazy day, but I do feel like that. But look, how my cute little fair. <laughs> Love that for me. Um, it's gonna be fun, I have two matches. The, re the rules are crazy. I didn't even know the rules until I got here right now from LA. And uh, there's push-outs, like wrestling style push-outs, you get a point. So we're gonna have some fun today. All right, now I'm gonna go in the zone so that I don't puke. In uh, Kendall fashion, Kendall called me last night, or not last night, sorry. That would have been really Kendall fashion. Um, she called me last week, last Friday, and was like, hey, I think I'm gonna do this this competition. I was like, let's do it, you know, why not? Um, and uh, in terms of the rules, I'm honestly just trying to figure it out right now, so I'm watching a bunch of these matches, uh, trying to figure out the rule set. Um, so the, it's a really interesting rule set. I think that it's going to favor her a lot because it's very geared towards wrestling. Um, so definitely going to think that it's going to favor her um, a lot. And it's good prep for ADCC as well. For the ground stuff, I'm going to do a little bit of moving on bottom. And then I'll be good. Just want to keep sweating a little more. I think they're about to start the girls, so it's probably going to be like 25 minutes. Okay. I did a little bit of shuffles. Um, I did. Um, so yeah, I think we just go. We don't have much space, but I guess that's fine because there's push anyway. <laughs> so we just go in. We're ready. They're never ready. A little bit of turtle attacks and a little bit of um, like half guard mount. 
Your short's gonna last through that, or you want me to get Jay? Imagine. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. It'd be good for views, <laughs> That would definitely be the thumbnail of the view. Okay. For sure. Okay. This is serious. Just another day in Jiu Jitsu Paradise. Um, I think we found out, gosh, I don't even know, maybe it was Tuesday. It was like within the last week. Um, and I've, fortunately, I've actually competed in this rule set before in Colorado Springs, so I kind of know it's just basically a lot of wrestling. Um, you can't do heel hooks. Um, it's kind of like in between wrestling and ADCC somehow. Um, but anyway, super physical, should be fun. I had to leave my beach home this morning to go pick <laughs> Kendall up from LAX and uh, drive out here. She's been on like seven flights in the last three days, so quite the quite the warm up Saturday morning. But you know, that's why you stay ready. Keep 
walking that foot to her butt here. Yep. Walking it up, walking it up. Beautiful. Yeah, we have plenty of time right now. There's no rush right now. What's that? Chris is styling. You know? <laughs> well, it's because I came from the airport, so I really Asian have privilege. like a jujitsu bag with me. <laughs> we went fashion. Hey, what's up, Chris? What's up, killer? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Good to know there's someone else here. Definitely want to finish the fight, but five minutes is short, and I felt really closer at the end. I almost went for a kennel con. <laughs> and then I was like, no, she's about to tap, and I didn't know the time was so short. I probably would have known, I probably would have tried it, but anyway, it's a good match. 
need to like get off the plane and sweat a little bit, so my legs are feeling a little heavy, but um, I'll be feeling better for the finals for sure. It's good to win. Win's a win, so no complaints here. The whole time my foot was stuck, so I was trying to stay back on the hip so she couldn't have to skip out the other side, but I didn't feel like I could get a deep enough cross face because I felt like I couldn't rotate my lower body, you know? Like I couldn't turn this way because she had my... So I was trying to like stay smashing the knees. I don't know how you feel, but I think like there, you need to try and undo their feet, not try to get yeah. the knee out. Cause yeah. it just, it's hard to get I reached back out. a couple times with my hands to like kind of just like, yeah. cause I didn't feel like any threat with my hips, like she wasn't under my hips, but I just felt like my kind of my foot hurt for so long. Yeah. And then at the end, man, the arm triangle, like it was really tight. I really thought I was gonna finish it, but at the time right now, I'm just like. Yeah, yeah. No, you'll be good. I'm worried about your knee when you're locked down. Yeah, I feel like I'm comfortable enough now keeping it safe. And also, the stuff that I used to do to free my knee that would hurt it is not like the most technically sound anyway. So now like that I'm more technically sound, I don't twist and stuff very much. But yeah, I would just say once you're there, it's like hard to make progress without freeing the foot. So don't worry about freeing the knee at that point. I would, I would have almost switched to a Kimura instead mm. of trying to like get the knee out so that she has to like uh, she Dress yeah, them. I don't know how much you do that, but sometimes. Yeah, I think like a little more rib connection in the top. Okay. Because you're in good positions, but sometimes I see you like take pressure off and step up mm -hmm. with your legs, and then it's like you feel stable, but there's like space. Yeah. And I feel like a lot more like ribs. And... Komodo, Komodo dragging. Komodo. I said that at my out. seminar last night because I was teaching something and <laughs> someone brought up like, oh, it is Sean's seminar, like he gave that detail too. And we're talking about like names and stuff and I was like, yeah, you never know though because you're talking about like surfing and Komodo dragging and stuff. Alright, we'll run. I'll be ready. There was a period where you were here, right? And, um, and then... Uh, it was the other side. Yeah, sorry. So, you were here. Right, and then from here you drop that hip down, and she had. I think I, I couldn't see, but she might have had like a scoop. Right sometimes she did, and sometimes she didn't. Okay, yeah. So from this position here, go heavy on the cross face here, because then you're in this position. Yeah, like here, and, and like with this hand, think about touching the, her mid back, like even more. Yeah, and then start smashing it down there. Now hold on, right, real quick. Stay here. Keep keep the smash here, and now with the other hand, now you can pump on your hips here. You see what I'm saying? And now, once I'm from now from here, then you can come up and then pass from there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, so I feel like I'm in a sauna right now. I'm so hot in here. It's good though. I'm tired but happy. I just feel very like um, fried, probably. <laughs> Sorry, <right word. laughs> feel fried. But I can do five more minutes. Of of like a let's fucking go energy, for sure, oh, yeah. for sure. I can do five more minutes if I love this shit, for sure. I can do 10, I can do 15. I can do as long as you need to do for that. Any day, no matter the flights, the sleep, I might be over caffeinated as well. And you know like when you're like dead tired and then you over caffeinate and then you're like, there's a glitch in the system. That's kind of how I'm feeling. But it's gonna be great. Actually, I recently discovered this song, and it it's just, just trust me on this. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking about my ultra embarrassing moment. I was number one where I was like, hey Joseph, so tell me about your ADCC preparation. And then as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, wrong one. It's okay. But, I get back. but then you're like live on camera, so I'm like, I can't be like, oh, uh, just kidding, like, because that looks so ugly. Like, you can't. So you're, I just had to let him correct me, even though I realized, oh, well, he'll correct me. And then he started correcting me, and he was. He was so, so nice. Yeah. He's such a little cutie pie. He's so nice. Such like he's just angel. so like respectful and like. And then later on, I went and told him about. it. I was like, I'm so sorry. And he was like, I don't care. I actually, <laughs> I, I actually care. went to talk to Mo about it too. <laughs> I was like, Hey. Um, and he was a lot. He was dying. He did not care at all. He was like, No, you're killing it. I love your interviews. Like it's great. Like you're doing a great job. Like it was so funny. Like he was not bothered by it all. No one at Flow cared. Because they were like, Oh my God, Flow's me so. And I'm like. Dude, Ricardo looked over at me from the commentary table because I was like about to cry because I, I hate messing up. Like I have a big, that's like a big trigger for me. Like if I feel like I did something wrong, that's 
my little girl self gets very sad. And Ricardo looked, <laughs> looked over at me from the commentary table. He was like, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> it's okay. And then, yeah. good and then, Craig put it on his story. I was like, Craig, come on. But a girl it was all, all with love. It was funny. Yes. It was a good moment, you know? And we love Joseph for me. Yes. <laughs> so nice. It's hard though, because they're all switching every day. What happened was I was looking at my notes at the table and I was looking at like, because I have notes for each athlete and he won trials. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, oh, thinking about how he won trials and, and Dorsey won trials. And so then I'm like, oh, da da da, 80 cc. And then I was like, oh. yep. so <laughs> yeah. Honest mistake. My mom texted me, because she was there. My mom came to see my sister and um, Felipe, Emma's boyfriend, who's on the card. And she was like, she was like, don't worry, it doesn't even matter. And I was like, yeah, actually nothing matters. Then I had an existential crisis. Sometimes though, sometimes <laughs> though, that'll save you. An existential crisis will get me out of like panning, like, okay, losing a match, for example. Yes. Existential crisis. I'm on a rock flying around in the middle of the world. Actually, aliens don't know what the fuck I do. They don't even know. They don't know what karate is. They don't know what jiu-jitsu is. They don't know shit about shit. All they know is they're going to point a laser. I'm going to be gone, whether I was the world champion of soccer or football or anything. So nothing actually matters, and I'm going to die, and no one's going to remember this little tournament in this garage. Why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah. So then, when you have an extra choice like that, you're like, do I consider alternative, alternative options? Like, do I leave the earth, or do I stay and do jiu-jitsu? Or underwater basketball. And then... And then underwater basketball. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Underwater basketball. So, you know, it can get dark real quick, but that saves me. <laughs> I'd rather have that dark than losing jiu-jitsu thinking I'm a piece of shit dark. Because that dark sucks because you can't really escape. You can get dark yeah. real quick. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. Yes. Last night, okay, oh my god, I had the weirdest thing last night. Dude, last night, last night, cover the AOJ logo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Guy. Um, last night, I taught a seminar, and after the seminar, this black male comes up to me, and he's like, and you were at, well, actually, I don't know if you, did you see me teach at the San Diego thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how I'm all like, blah, blah, everywhere. This guy, this guy at um, the seminar last night comes up to me, he's like, man, is the best seminar we've ever been to. Like we had 65 people in here and everyone was engaged. Like how do you do that? And he was like, I, I loved it. It was so nice, so sweet. And then he goes, and I love your ADHD style, ADHD style of teaching. <laughs> and I was like, I actually don't have ADHD. Well, I mean, it could be undiagnosed. I'm not a self-diagnoser. Don't self-diagnose, okay? Go to your doctor, all right? Stop Go to your seeing doctor. a meme or a TikTok and being like, I'm neurodivergent. Like you don't know. Okay, go to your doctor. Anyway, he was like, I love your ADHD style of teaching. And I was like, <laughs> oh, haha. -ha. And I was like, actually, that was kind of tame and focused because a lot of times it's like squirrel, da, da, and I get really, especially with the women's only thing, like you guys, that, I, there's no, I just kind of like feel like I don't have to hold back with women. Keeps the room. Nah. Keeps the room. Everybody's like engaged. Always. Like nobody's looking out the window, nobody's like, this. everybody's engaged at all yeah. time. Whether you're talking about breakfast or whether yes. you're talking about like, front headlocks, everybody's engaged. Yes. And like also, I'm not a robot, like I'm a real person, like yeah. I can't be like in an instructor, actually my instructors are kind of weird too, but I was like telling him, I was like, actually that was kind of focused, like sometimes it gets really crazy and he's like, no, it was great, I really struggle with it, but he was saying like, that's why he said it, he was trying to be nice. He's like, I really struggle with it because sometimes I get distracted while I'm teaching, and I was like, honestly, I just go with it because I feel like if I try to like be all like I, it's kind of awkward and then I'm like I look like I can't like I take myself too seriously like I'm oh, oh actually so I'm like I just go with it and I think it's fine yeah. so if you hold it back it's too noticeable yeah it, like, let it and go. It, it's like a confidence thing like I don't care about trailing off because I'm like well you guys paid to be here so you kind of probably do what you're getting yourself yeah. into and you're stuck <laughs> like you can't go anywhere so I'm just gonna yeah. be myself because I got to enjoy it too so anyway ADHD style okay. teaching. I can't name an instructional next. I haven't been officially diagnosed. So I will not be self diagnosing. Uh, but I will be entertaining. Do I look jacked with like this or like this? Give her two. Give her two. One with the one or the class, one without. Yeah, there we okay. go. <laughs> Beautiful thing. I feel like you didn't take the second one, but I'm okay with that. Uh, she, goes, she goes, fuck those Russians. Yeah, fuck those Russians. No, it is no. too. It's true. <laughs> like, like she, she was saying, like, when you go and compete at IBJJF, you feel like you might have your team and then also, like, your name. Like, oh, I, I'm representing Grace Bond and representing Kendall Roosing, but when you go and you compete for your country, it's a whole different experience. You're like, man, I got, like, a lot of yes. energy with me. It's really special. Yes. It's the pride that, like, follows, you know, and, like, you know, just the people 
that you have touched in the, the community and so many women of like, you don't even realize like the impact that you have, that you have had on the community and women individually mm. to have like a good role model. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not just saying that, but it's yeah. like, it's important to have Thanks. people like you and especially like women that people can look up to because there's not a lot of that. And there's not a lot. It's a know, small pool of yeah, us, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, you know what, keep talking. Thank keep you. Doing, you know, like you're well-spoken and you're getting the message out there and you're opening doors for all of women in college jiu-jitsu. So thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah. And we're also going to fight later, so, you know. Yeah. See, we can do both. We can. We can. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate you're it. You're amazing. Amazing. Keep up the great work and you keep doing all of your video work. Oh my videos. Right. Thank you. <laughs> she's won like oh, awesome. Tara's won not just the trials the last couple of years, but she's also won the actual like USA or not uh, UWW grappling world championships. So she's won in gi and no gi, I think two years in a row, like has four gold medals. So we're at the trials today. Obviously we fought a couple times before. It's gonna be fun. Um, it's gonna be a good fight. But it was really sweet of her to be like the reigning champion and then she's so kind at the same time. It's like Jiu-Jitsu is really cool. I know a lot of times we see like a big ugly side of it and, and it's and I don't hate on it. I mean I think it makes sense. Like Conor McGregor is Conor McGregor, right? So people try to bring out this like really great energy. But for me personally, I it would feel weird because it's not who I am. So I'd rather like be me and like get less views or whatever and like connect with people that are like me because I know there's a lot of people out there that connect like with my heart because I talk to them in person like right now <laughs> then try to be like something I'm not and then for shock value but again it's no hey a lot of people do it and it's awesome and maybe it's who they are and then that feels really right to them but like that is what feels right to me and then obviously I go on the mat and it's like oh I'm gonna fuck shit up like I turn on to a different like Queen K comes out and the alter ego gets to come play and that's great but uh like we don't always see this side like but this exists all the time and I would say more than the other stuff so just keep that in mind when you're watching the crazy <laughs> Suffer a little bit from this position here, Kendall. You're gonna pass again here. Get your arms back into position here. Hike our hips up, we can pass again if you want. Yep, yep. Get a little bit more flat and then hike your hips up again. 
2.30 to work. 2.30. Got about two minutes here, Kendall. Raise the knee, come back in. Yep, yep. Down by 10, you gotta find a way. You can also lock it, yes. If you lock it, we can finish it from here too. Yep, we can finish it from there as well. Yep, yep. She's gonna give up her back here. She's gonna give up her back, yes. We can finish it there, yep. Pull the elbow to your ribs here. Sprawled, back, uh, sprawled down here, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna find the net here. We're gonna find the net, beautiful. We got about a minute 20 left. We're up 14 to zero right now. the ADCC trials. We've come a long way, baby. I love this shit. Man, it's super exciting because, I, you mentioned it, but I represented Team USA when I was a kid, right? From ages like 14 to 18, I was on cadet and junior um, teams for Team USA with wrestling. But when you switch over to jiu-jitsu, because we're not in that world, at, or we weren't at the time when I switched back over to jiu-jitsu, um, it's been a while. Like, yeah, I was talking to Tara before the match, and I was saying, like, when you go into the world, when you go into type JJF Worlds, for example, you represent like, your team, for sure, but also like your name, like Cam Williams, Cam Williams. When you go to something like this, and you have a different name, because it's like the whole country is with me, it's a side behind me, and a side behind me, and um, you want to make your country proud, so it's a really awesome opportunity. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, like, have you seen the matches we've had today? We have so many killers. Like, so many of the lineup, male and female, are also world champions in Active GF. They're also ADCC competitors. Like, it's really, really amazing. So, it's going to be a big year for us, I think. And we're going to be able to dominate the same way we had the last couple of years. But now, including Russia, we're going to definitely be taking that. For sure. Thank you so much. We're done? Oh, okay. We're done. We're done. No, we're just getting started. We finished the tournament. Um, oh, my gosh. That was a really fun... Of the hiccups now, of course, when the camera goes on. That was a really fun match. Tara beat me in 2017 at the ADCC trials. I had just come back from wrestling. This was like right after I came back from college. And I did the trials for fun. I was still blue belt. And I lost in the finals. It was by like a point of ref decision. Something really close. Super tough match. She went to, I think it was Finland that year. And... Then we fought one time in the Gi a couple years ago and I beat her, but it was the first time we fought no Gi again. So it was really good to have that win back, but also like the connection that we have. Like you guys saw the interview earlier and then she's being super sweet on the mat. Like she's 
just an awesome person. Like, really great to have tough matches with women like that. So, man, Shifagi and Nogi today did really well. So, yeah, I was able to get to really all my positions. I was really bummed that I wasn't able to finish my fights. I think both of them were fairly close, ended in submission, or, like, ended in submission attacks that weren't fully extended. So, I need to work on my finishing mechanics a little bit. Um, because even though it is hard with five minutes, it's like I did have the submission. So it's like, should be able to finish from there. So I'm excited to work on that a little bit, go back to the lab. That's kind of what the tournament was for, not just like, of course, for the team is really valuable, but also I wanted to get some data for the big show in uh, August for ADCC. So I definitely got some data today of where I'm feeling strong and where I need to work. Headlocks felt like so easy today, super fun. Movement felt really good. Um, so I'm stoked, two matches, not too crazy. <laughs> Definitely a little tired from the last few days. Now I get to relax for for the rest of the day and tomorrow. So really excited. Normally Sunday's like my hardest training of the week. We're not doing that tomorrow. We're getting some sleep. But this event is the USA Grappling World Team Trials. So basically, the Olympics, like in wrestling, so UWW is United World Wrestling. They have the worlds, they have they're involved with the Olympics, of course, they have the like beach wrestling world champions like ships like they have a lot of stuff mostly they're wrestling though folk style freestyle no it's not sorry no folk style freestyle men and women and then greco for men so those are like the three things that they do a lot and that's who i used to wrestle with i used to do all the uww events when i was like 14 to 18 i was on team usa with wrestling cadets and junior age group and then senior competitions i did but i never made a senior national team i left at 18 so it wasn't really uh at that level at that time when i was that age so now grappling is trying to make a bid for the Olympics. So it's a very different world when you step into this. Like, this is like, you know, ghetto fab, garage style, like just go for it kind of fights. But once you go over to the world, it's all official because it's run by UWW. So it's like Team USA to the brim. It's gonna feel just like when I was out at these big wrestling events. Um, and I've been sharing kind of conversations with some of the athletes and seeing the pictures and the photos, man, pictures and videos. And I'm so excited to like feel part of my country again like what a cool thing like feel like I'm representing my country so even though the grappling world is smaller than prestigiously right now than IBJJF and obviously that's the case like we look at the competitors it's not quite what we see at like a Nogi world or something like that but man today like these matches were super tough Tara is a multiple time uh, Nogi world medalist she's taken second of the trials I think twice I mean she's a really really tough girl so all that to be said the caliber of this event is going up and up and up they were bugging me to come to this and at first I was like man I don't know like it's not you know our big things like we normally do but I just had a feeling I had a gut feeling like no I think this is the right place to be not only to get some data but also to like see what the USA team is doing in the world of grappling so they're hoping to have a big world and then I know a lot of people just so you guys understand like are not a big fan of that route they want to support more professional grappling because they're going for the money and the Olympics is more like for the glory right but there's also a lot of money in the Olympic world when you're talking about like big brands big companies if they want to work with an Olympic level athlete they don't know what ABCC is or IBJJF so there's pros and cons to both of it and I feel like if I can help support both <laughs> and be part of the growth of both that's not only the best thing for me, but it's also the best thing for the sport, especially for you know the women's divisions. Like having this new, like a someone who's really high level on the IBJJF and ADCC, ADCC circuit coming in, but also for the men too. A lot of the guys today in the brackets were super tough. We had like Dave Garman was here, had Adam Bradley, we had other people as well, and they were coming to me, like I had some of the guys coming to me like, oh man, it's so cool that we're all here. Like the level's really coming up. So with all that being said, Kazakhstan's in October. It's gonna be so sick. I'm gonna get to represent my country again, which I've missed for a long time. I always feel like I am representing USA, but this is a whole new level. I love my country. I love where I've grown up. I'm super grateful to be here. Like I travel all around the world and I love places to visit, but this is where I wanna be and I'm super proud to be American. <laughs> we're gonna, and we're gonna go do more of that. Oh, and my dad's here. He's proud to be American too. You can ask him about it. I know, we've got the flag. You sent me a picture of a flag the other day. Any, anywhere else, this would be MAGA country, right? Dad! You can't stand in front of a flag. <laughs> this would be MAGA country anywhere else, man. They say we're white supremacists. Right? This is not a political statement. Let me just make that clear. No, there's a USA Grappling Wrestling Center or whatever. Yeah, what do you whatever. want from me? <laughs> Except for my Make America Great, uh, Make America Great Again t-shirt with Britney Spears and Paris Hilton and... Uh, I told it? her. Oh, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> that, between that and this, I may be, I may get some hate, but... What do you want from me? It's CBSA. I told you that was a low percentage. Man. He thought the shirt was dangerous. He thought I was getting it. No, people loved it. Oh, no, he yeah, said make America great. It's like, oh, white supremacy. No, no, Dad, but it's on the... Never. People like the shirt. People like the shirt. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. I know, but so. I don't think a lot of people got it. Plus, you put the he's saying that because he's old and he didn't get it. No, it's true. 
I am old. I'm very old. You want to go to Kazakhstan? I'd like to. Yeah, I'll go.